So I'm actually very strongly believing that although we think that I'm doing my life, if you really look at your life, you quickly discover that the important moments you didn't really do. They kind of happen. They're kind of accidents. Kind of accidents. And if you start to look at you li your life, you can see that they happen all the time. But we have this kind of program that says, you know, I'm deciding. You know, I arrange that room. And, and actually, we, we don't do that. We don't really do that. And the more you come into a kind of surrender is probably the right word. So when you come into a surrender with this divine intelligence, then actually you discover that everything works very, very well. Amazingly well. Actually, it works better than you can figure it out for yourself. So this is actually a very beautiful thing to know, that as you give up doing your life, as you give up the idea of me, that it'll all work much better. There'll be much less pain. There'll be much less suffering. And uh, there's the possibility of a deep, regular peace, a peace that is always there. You, you feel connected to this inner peace. And it doesn't matter what you're really doing, you know? It's not depending. You realize it doesn't depend on what you're doing or who you're with. You know? We have this idea that love depends on the person who we're spending our time with who's giving it to us. This is somehow the idea of love. But when you actually surrender, really deeply surrender into this divine wisdom, you discover divine wisdom is also divine love. And it's like this huge field of love. And this field of love just takes you. So you'll actually discover that you don't need anybody to give you love. You've already got heaps of it, piles of love, never ending, enormous amounts of love. And all you have to really do is open up yourself for that. Because we're actually all very closed down. We think we're not, of course, but actually we are. So there's nothing to be afraid, you know? Some people maybe have the idea, you know, if I really surrender, if I give up my personal doership, then I won't be able to do my job, or I, I won't be able to cook lunch, something like this, yeah? You may not be able to for a few hours or a few days, if you're Shiva for a few weeks, you know, months. But um, for most people, it, it's... it's uh, there's not so much problem in the in the in the changeover. But it also I should make it clear, it doesn't mean that strong things don't happen. It doesn't mean like, you know, it's all ice cream and strawberries forever. You know, there's also gonna be stuff which you wouldn't want to invite which happens in your life, which is not so easy to deal with, which is kind of challenging, um, that's also going to happen. But whereas maybe before some kind of challenge became a kind of uh, an excuse to become depressed or something, you know, why me, you know, why did it happen to me, you know, why did my house burn down, what did I do to deserve that, you know, something, you know. You, you just get on with building a new house, and that can be fun too. So there's no problems anymore. Can you imagine living without any problems? There's no problems. There are challenges. There are difficulties. There are, um, you have to apply more energy or more focus to certain things. Maybe you need to gather some help. But, um, no problems. And I 
think this thing about being honest is very important because, you know, we, we've been unfortunately very conditioned, you know, that I am good, I am right, I am everything, you know. And in one way it's true because everybody is always right and everybody's always as they should be and everybody's exactly where they should be doing what they should be. So there's no kind of wrong things. You're, you're not wrong. One of the dangers of doing this inner work is it can give you an impression that you've got to change. <coughs> change is probably going to happen, but it's not needed to change exactly. But when you see what you're doing, then of course there's a lot of reason why you can change, you choose to change. And one of the things that you can see with somebody who's, who's um, no longer identified with a kind of program of me somebody you can say is free, they have a certain atmosphere, you know, a certain atmosphere which, for me, reminds me always of young children. You know, they're more spontaneous, they're, um, there's a sort of, I don't know, this is, this is a difficult word, but for me, they have a kind of purity. I don't know if purity is really the right word, probably not necessarily, but there's something that you can feel which is uh, very real. So th in this way I'm talking of pure. And, um, and the spontaneous, spontaneous. 